I'm ready. So, uh, as uh, the title say, here we talk about the selection of the number of subaquatures for a laser guide star Shakatman sensor. So, we can start from uh, from the basis. So, uh, we know that uh, we want more subapertures to um, decrease the fitting error and to decrease the aliasing error. But uh, on the other hand, we want to save on the number of subapertures to uh, reduce the measurement noise error. And on the other side uh, of, of, of the number of subapertures, we need a good linearity, so a good sampling of our um, spot. And we want to have large field of view, so to avoid truncation. So in principle, we, the question is if we need simply to balance these errors. And the answer is not only because there are other error terms like tomographic error and others that could have an important role, but not the, the point here that we want to address is that there is few additional uh, features that is interesting. The first one is that we can mitigate uh, truncation we have a few examples here that can be found in the literature. And here is an example from Maori that come from a paper of uh, Sylvain, where we use the priors and noise correlation from Salon and a smart window at center of gravity to work with field of view that is less than 20 or seconds. Another point is that uh, about noise, measurement noise, we have uh, some option to mitigate the case where we have a limited flux. Here is a list of a few examples in already literature. And here an example for Mavis, where we, um, when we go from a good flux case to a 90 percentile flux case, we see uh, an important drop of performance in the in the draw, but thanks to, for example, uh, uh, temporal filters that are smarter than the the classical integrator, we can improve the draw even in the uh, 90 percentile flux case. Then another thing we want to to show you, as as many of you already know, when we go to 39 meter telescope. Uh, it's really difficult to get the kind of, uh, of a lens select array and the kind of uh, detector we want. So it's not really feasible to, to go for, for the numbers uh, shown here. For example, there is no 1,600 pixel count detector with all the good parameters. And even getting a, a lens select array with very fast uh, F ratio is is a challenge. And then mm, the last uh, additional item we want to, to talk about is the so-called super resolution. The point here is that we have multiple weapon sensors with multiple line of sight. And so we can use these multiple weapon sensors to get an aggregate sampling of our uh, aberration. And this is already uh, uh, free on a certain altitude range thanks to the different line of sight. And for example, here I show you um, the, the geometry of Maori when we see uh, the, the M4 altitude. So 600 meters with six different lasers. And you can see that each subaperture is slightly shift uh, with respect to the other. Then on the other side, we can uh, shift or rotate the wavefront sensor to increase the, the resolution. Is, here is a case of four other gas sensors. And we, we try this in simulation with a very basic system. And we see that, for example, an 8 by 8 Chakartman can give better performance than a 12 by 12 in a MCO case with six edges. But then we have to, 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 be, to, be, to pay attention to this kind of super resolution because 
when we change altitude due to the geometry and the different line of sight, the, the super resolution can change a lot. So it's not trivial to optimize this. So going to the conclusion, uh, we know that there are several limiting factors to, 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 go, to work against increasing the number of sub-apertures. So um, one point is the, is the camera that are available, then the flux from the LGS, the field of view that we require, and even the lenses array. But on the other side, we have several points that have to take into account. For example, in many cases, tomographic and general fitting errors can dominate the error budget. So uh, even increasing the number of the is not so uh, useful. And then on the other side, we can take advantage of smart uh, um, um, methods like uh, control to reduce truncation or to reduce the noise propagation or even the uh, super resolution. That's all. I'm ready to, to question. Okay. Thank you, Guido. Thank you, Guido. I'm looking here and uh, I still don't see a question for the talk. Um, I, I may ask you a more general question here. So we are always assuming that in a subaperture you measure two degrees of freedom. Okay, so that's a limit. So basically the number of measurements you get from your subaperture, despite the fact you're using 10, 20, 30 pixels is two numbers. Okay. Um, and for example, our friend Cedric is using a, a way, a focal plane detection where he measured from a limited number of pixels, he measure more modes than single than simple tip tilt. And I think Thierry Fusco and others propose a lifted Shakartman, something that measure more than tip and tilt on a single sub aperture. Could we think of something similar for you know to improve the resolution by keeping the number of sub aperture low? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, sure. This is a this is an alternative way. Probably we increase a bit the requirement on the real time computer, but should be feasible. Just can I can I say something about that? <laughs> Cedric speaking. Um, no, it's just that uh, Lifty um, was designed for uh, a point source. Uh, so the, the Lifty trackout man as well. So we may try something similar, but that wouldn't be the Lifty trackout man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and if uh, yeah, that means that we need to to know uh, the, the shape of the object. So it, it is not impossible, but it. It, it, it may be a little bit more complex. Uh, complex in terms of uh, computation, uh, computational, computational aspect. The lift chart Cartman is not uh, that uh, power um, that complicated because it's a linear, uh, the linear model. So, uh, but the problem is to know is to know the object, and that's something um, which is quite complicated, but not impossible. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, thanks, Guido. So 